Some people out there are asking why, oh why has the world gone absolutely crazy for Pokemon Go and I think the answer is simple, you've got to catch them all, obviously. My name is Danny Burke, this is Most Amazing Top 10 and today we're going to be talking about a couple of Pokemon out there that might be stopping everyone from catching them all, the legendary Mew and Mewtwo. Who are they, where do they come from and can you catch them yourself in Pokemon Go? Interesting questions, let's find out the answers as we jump into our number 10. Mew is said to be the ancestor of all Pokemon because the DNA of all other Pokemon out there can be found within Mew. Now this explains why in the Pokemon universe Mew is able to learn almost every single move available including Transform where it literally morphs into any other Pokemon. At number 9, Mewtwo was created from the DNA of Mew. The story goes that Team Rocket leader Giovanni wanted to create a clone of the legendary powerful Mew to have as his very own super Pokemon. Now although the cloning was a success, not everything went to plan. Mewtwo ended up being far more intelligent and powerful than any of them expected. It began questioning its own existence as a human experiment. Is it a human? Is it a Pokemon? It kind of went a bit crazy, it decided it didn't like this whole being in prison thing that much and it broke free from the facility on a quest to find its own true purpose in life. Coming in at number 8, Mew almost wasn't added to the original Pokemon games at all. In fact, in the final stages of game development, the makers had a tiny bit of memory left on the game cartridge and so, for a little bit of a joke, they put in some code for a Pokemon called Mew. Now Mew was never supposed to be in the actual game storyline, even Nintendo didn't really know about it. But when rumours started to spread about this mystery Pokemon hidden in the game, players started to go crazy trying to find find it through the use of glitches. In the end, it's thought that this little joke by the developers is actually what kind of kick-started Pokemon into becoming the whole phenomenon it is today. At number 7 now, Mewtwo was the first Pokemon to be able to undergo a mega evolution. Now it's basically the same as a normal evolution, except the Pokemon often gains a whole extra type that it didn't have before. Mewtwo and Charizard are the only two Pokemon that actually have two different Mega Evolutions. Mewtwo can Mega Evolve into Mega Mewtwo Y, which is a Psychic type, or Mega Mewtwo X, which is a Psychic and Fighting type. And if that sounds a little bit too nerdy for you, well, this is a Pokemon video, so come on, like, what do you expect? Coming in at number 6 now, it's thought that there actually might be more than one Mewtwo in the Pokemon universe. This fan theory is supported by the fact that although Mewtwo has been seen in multiple Pokemon movies, it had a male voice in one of the first ones and then a female voice in another. On top of this, it had very different personalities. One of them was angry at humans and very destructive, while the other one was quite caring for Pokemon and humans. Is this the one and only Mewtwo or were there more than one clone? Moving on to number 5 now, it's thought that the Pokemon Ditto is actually a failed attempt of cloning Mew. Now bear with me, they have similar colours, they have exactly the same weight in the game and they are both genderless and they can both transform into any other Pokemon out there. Now on top of this, in the original games the only places you could find Ditto was in the Pokemon Mansion where Mewtwo was created and in Cerulean Cave where Mewtwo actually lived. Now they say that Mewtwo was the only successful attempt at cloning Mew, so maybe Ditto was a failed attempt. It's just a theory, but it's a pretty cool one. At number 4, ok it's obvious now where Mewtwo got its name from as it's a clone of Mew, it's like the second version of Mew, Mewtwo. But what about Mew itself? Well, there are a number of different theories out there. Some say it's the same as the noise a cat makes because it kind of looks like a cat, or maybe it comes from the word mutant as a reference to it having all of, you know, Pokemon's DNA, or some people actually think it's a combination of the words mysterious and new. Moving on now to number 3, Mew and Mewtwo are tied for the number of appearances of a legendary Pokemon at the start of a Pokemon anime. Legendary Pokemon have been popping up at the start of many different anime series or movies, but it seems the creators of Pokemon have a special place in their hearts when it comes to Mew and Mewtwo, because they have both appeared a total of 7 times. Coming in now at number 2, Mew has had a number of different entries in the Pokedex in the different generations of the Pokemon games over the years. In red and blue the Pokedex said it was said to be a mirage by many experts, other entries 
say that Mew can turn invisible, or that when viewed through a microscope, Mew's fine, delicate hair can be seen. But my personal favourite is that it only ever appears to those people who are pure of heart and have a strong desire to see it. Now, does that sound like any of you guys? Do any of you have a pure heart or a strong desire to see Mew or Mew 2? Well, Listen to this, at number one, we're going to be talking about catching them in Pokemon Go. Now at the time of recording, there is currently no known way to see or catch either Mew or Mewtwo, but don't worry too much guys, your dream of catching them isn't over yet. Some Reddit users took a look at the coding behind the Pokemon Go game, and they found there are actually mentions of Mew and Mewtwo in the code, along with legendary Pokemon Zapdos, Moltres and Articuno. Mew and Mewtwo are in the game's code but they have a base capture rate of zero, which basically means they won't ever spawn, like ever. Doesn't matter how far you walk, they're not going to pop up on your block. Instead, people think the developers will hold rare public events like the one we actually saw in the Pokemon Go trailer, you know, the one in Times Square, with many players taking part for a chance at catching the legendary and mythical Mew and Mewtwo. Well guys, you might not be able to catch them all quite just yet, but the future looks pretty great for Pokemon hunters. Hopefully some of you guys have learned something about two of the most famous and epic Pokemon of all time. I know I did as I was making this video. And and it's just, well, to be honest, it's made me like really hyped and excited for them to finally release them in Pokemon Go. Come on, guys, just hurry up, make it happen. I'm waiting. All right, until then, guys, thanks so much for watching Most Amazing Top 10 as ever. My name is Danny Burke. You can find me on Instagram somewhere down there, and I'll see all of you guys in a bit.